Hi, I'm JMO at X Case. Today I'm going to be looking at a new chassis from Shembro. It's called the RM416-48. And at the same time I'm going to be looking at a recent server build we've done for somebody within the music industry. It's the fourth build we've done for this particular company. So obviously somebody's happy. And it really is a bit of a monster. So just going over the chassis briefly. The 416-48, the 48 meaning it's got 48. Yes, count them, 48. Two and a half inch hot swap caddies. Uh, within these caddies they're having 48 250 gig 6 GB SSD drives. Now the interesting thing about this, although it's got 48 caddies fitted as standard, these are made up of four blocks of 12. Now each of these 12 blocks can be removed and then Shembro do various accessories to replace them. So for instance, if we wanted to remove this particular block of 12, put a standard CD-ROM in there and, and a couple of three and a half inch hard drives, they do an adapter to do it. This particular customer needs <clears throat> as much storage as possible, so we've opted for the full 48 two and a half inch drives. The drives themselves connect to a back plane it's a mini SAS backplane. Each of the four block of 12 has three mini SAS connections and three Molex power connectors. The 808-7807 cables are connected to two 24 port LSI RAID cards. The card itself is a 6GB, the drives are 6GB. Unfortunately at the moment Shembro don't do a 6GB backplane. However it's coming shortly and the customer is aware and are looking to replace them when they arrive. However as anybody knows you don't get anywhere near as much as 3GB in transfer rates so it's not going to make a massive difference. This customer, not content with uh, 48 two and a half inch drives at the front, needed a further two for an operating system. So we put them on this uh, PCI expansion brackets at the rear. Uh, the drives pop out so you can get hold of them quite easily without getting into the case. And if that wasn't enough, they also needed a further three, 3.5 drives internally just no way we could do that so we spoke to them and said um, the only way we could do it really is to break down a desktop case take the bracket for the hard drives out of it and fit it within this particular chassis so that's what we've done and we've done it before with them and it's worked fine so it's powered by a triple redundant 650 watt power supply so if one of the power supplies fails, there's two more to carry on the good work. This particular customer has got a Tyan 7010 motherboard fitted and two Xeon hex core processors along with 24 gig of RAM. But they may look to go up to the 96 gigabyte that is available for this particular motherboard four hot swap fans. If they fail you can just simply pull them out and replace them. Very powerful fans. Very noisy it has to be said. I have put a noise reduction cable onto them that's connected to the motherboard so they'll go up and down in speed depending on the temperatures internally that, look, that are required. Now this is a 
specifically custom built system for this particular client. We're happy to build anything around any of our chassis. If you like this chassis and you want us to build something perhaps of a lesser specification, we're happy to do so. Single processor, less RAM, cheaper drives. You may just want to start with one RAID controller and it half full to begin with and then add in the future. However, as I like to make it uh, perfectly plain and clear that if we can do it, we will. So drop us an email, get a quote off us, and hopefully you'll be happy. Uh, just for reference, it's October 2010. Thank you.